Hi there, my name's Kevin McGuigan. I'm a professor of medical physics in the College of Surgeons. We're gonna to talk today about shallow water blackout, which is a form of barotrauma caused by abnormal values of ambient gas pressure. By the end of this lecture, hopefully you'll understand the meaning and relevance of Boyle's Law, how Boyle's Law leads to injuries during scuba diving, such as pneumothorax, and how Boyle's law in combination with Dalton's law of partial pressures can produce the potentially fatal condition of shallow water blackout. So here we have an enclosed gas in a piston. The volume is varying and the pressure is varying. Boyle's law states that for this fixed mass of enclosed gas, the volume multiplied by the pressure is constant. So if the volume decreases, the pressure increases, but more importantly for uh, diving situations, variations in pressure will cause corresponding variations in the volume. So here we have two fixed masses of gas. If we look at this one, for example, at, at 30 meters, the ambient pressure increases by one atmosphere for every 10 meters of depth in the sea. So the pressure for this enclosed gas here would correspond to four atmospheres. And let's assume, for example, this is a lung of a diver who suddenly found out that they have run out of air. So they have held their breath and they're going to do an emergency ascent to the surface. Remember, as they ascend to the surface, the pressure will decrease. So we know by Boyle's law, if the pressure decreases, the volume will increase. So, for example, we see the volume in this case has increased by a factor of four, and no lung can withstand that kind of volume increase. So, a scuba diver who holds their breath and tries to do an emergency ascent will suffer ultimately from a burst lung, which we call a pneumothorax. The condition of shallow water blackout is one that affects not scuba divers but breath hold divers, so snorkelers, spear fishermen or free divers. If we think of Dalton's law of partial pressures, here we have an enclosed gas and we have a mixture of two types of gas molecules, we'll say the blue is nitrogen and the black is oxygen, so this is air. And Dalton's law says the total pressure is equal to the sum of the partial pressures. So if we've got 20% oxygen for one atmosphere of air, the partial pressure will be 20% of one atmosphere. And there's John Dalton, the father of modern chemistry, after whom the law is named. So we're going to look at a situation where a person wants to dive down while holding their breath. If you want to stay down for a long time, what happens is you will hyperventilate, uh, you'll breathe in and out at a high uh, frequency in an attempt to get as much oxygen into your lungs and to get as, uh, a, a reduced amount of carbon dioxide. The thing to remember is that your urge to breathe is stimulated by elevated levels of carbon dioxide. So if you've hyper hyperventilated, you'll start the dive with a little higher than normal partial pressure of oxygen and a little lower than normal partial pressure of carbon dioxide. If for some reason you stay down too long, as you consume oxygen, your partial pressure of O2 will drop. If it drops below 0 0.1 atmosphere, you will lose consciousness. So let's look at our dive. Here we have our little diver and they start at the surface, the depth is zero meters, the pressure is one atmosphere, and the partial pressure of oxygen is 0 0.24. They dive down to 10 meters, so the total pressure now is two atmospheres, the pressure has doubled, 0.44. So here they are, they're, they're diving away. Since the pressure has doubled, that means that their lung volume will have halved, after about 20 seconds, they're still at 10 meters. You can see that they've consumed quite a lot of oxygen and in this time, the partial pressure 
of carbon dioxide will have risen to such a level that it will stimulate the need to get a second breath. So you start to feel the burn, you say to yourself, well, let's go back to the surface. As you ascend to the surface, the pressure drops, the volume expands. So if the total pressure in your lungs drops, that means the partial pressure in your lungs also drops. And as you ascend higher, you'll get to a stage where the partial pressure of oxygen will drop below 0.1 atmospheres. Even though you felt perfectly fine at 20 meters, just rising through this column of fluid, the corresponding reduction in pressure will cause this shallow water blackout. And we can see two world famous free divers here. This is Audrey Mestre. She died in 2002 during a world record free diving attempt and she died from shallow water blackout. She, she uh, lost consciousness in the last 10 meters of her return to the surface and she never recovered. She had convulsions underwater. This is Tanya Streeter. She's a current world free diving champion. I'm showing these two divers just to show that even when you've trained for a long time, that's no guarantee that you won't suffer from shallow water blackout. It's a very dangerous condition and people who have the psychological profile of being very competitive are most at risk of suffering from it because they tend to stay down for longer periods, use up more of their oxygen, so they're at a higher risk of shallow water blackout when they return to the surface. So hopefully you'll have understood what Boyle's Law means, how it causes pneumothoraxes, and how, in combination with Dalton's Law, it gives rise to shallow water blackout. Thank you very much. I hope you've understood what I said.